Okay, so let's move on to the next section, the envelopes in Serum. So what are envelopes? An envelope describes how a sound changes over time. For example, a piano key when struck and held creates an immediate sound, which gradually decreases in volume to zero. In Serum, these are really well represented in visual forms, as we can see here in the envelope section. In sound design, one of the most important elements is the shape of the sound. So in any synth, digital or analog, we have four phases. The attack phase, the decay phase, the sustain phase and the release phase. So the attack phase is basically how quick the sound comes in. As you can see here, we have the attack control knob and currently it's at its default setting where the sound comes straight in. Now if I gradually increase the dial clockwise, I can bring that sound in more gradually. And if I take it back to its default setting, which is no attack, the sound comes straight in. So as an example, we could go for that sort of future bass type sound. So in that case, I'd have two saw waves here and I would detune the first one. Uh, I'd give it, uh, say, four voices and bring that into the middle a bit more. Then I would increase the voices on the second oscillator. Also a saw wave and detune that slightly, spread that a bit further out. Then what I could do is add a filter, I have a low pass filter and have it so that there's quite a bit of high tone come in. And then I could take my envelope and add it onto the cutoff. So moving on, let's go on to the sustain and I'll skip the decay for a moment so we can understand the sustain and then we can have a better understanding of the decay. So sustain fully cranked, which we can see here, is the full volume. And if I reduce that to say 50%, then we have half volume. So as, as we can see there, with the sustain fully cranked, that's just coming in full sound. And then if I take that to about 50%, you can see the sound goes up and then fades out to the set volume. Now the decay actually stretches out that time that it takes for the highest volume peak down to the set volume peak with the sustain. And that is represented by this dot that you can see traveling down from the high volume to the low volume. So if I take the decay back, you'll see the volume drops down quicker. If I extend the decay out, it takes longer for that volume to drop down to 50% that we've set there. Or I could take it to zero. So the sound would completely fade out. So with the decay, we can actually control how punchy the sound is or how long it is heard. So if I shorten the decay, we can make pluck sounds. So I'll take the attack back down there and I'll just do a really short decay. And there we can see we're getting a pluck sound now because I've taken that decay. Stretch that decay out. The sound's gonna last longer. Take that decay back down. Got a pluck sound. So going back to the hold control, the hold control basically elongates the attack phase. So if we have a longer attack here, it will hold the attack phase out for longer. So at the moment, we've got it just dropping off there straight away. If I increase the hold, it will increase the time it takes for the attack phase to go through its process. Finally, the release is basically how long the sound rings out for. If you think of a small bell sound, it will be struck and then fade out quite quickly, like a little chime, whereas a church bell sound may ring out for a few seconds. So with the release, we can create those more atmospheric sounds that ring out a bit longer, ideal for lead or bass sounds. So take that release down and 
we don't hear the sound for as long. So I can have a plucky sound with a lot of release on. So as we can see there, if I shorten that release, just a quick sound that drops off, if I increase the release, we have that more atmospheric sound. So that's a great one to use for creating the more atmospheric sounds or lead or bass sounds. So let's have a look at a few presets in Serum now to see how their envelopes are set up. So as we can see here, this is set up for a plucky synth sound. As we can see, the release is up about halfway there. We've got the decay out to about one second and we've got a very short attack. And we've also got this ambient piano, which is a more spacey pad-like sound. As you can see there, the release is cranked right up and the decay is right out here. So if we took the decay back, we could really shorten that. Take the decay right out, we get that more longer sound. Bring the decay in, we get the shorter sound. And we can shorten that even further by bringing the release back. So a lot of the time in electronic music, envelopes are used to shape the sound by controlling the filter cutoff. I've got an envelope set up here. If I were to drag my envelope over to the filter and put it on the cutoff wheel and turn the filter on, our envelope transmits over to the filter. So the filter will follow exactly the same shape as our envelope. We get that sort of womp womp. UK bass sound, we can bring in that high end or reduce the high end. So I brought in a bit of resonance then, as you can see, getting a more womp womp sound. So if I take that attack up there, everything will happen more slowly. Okay, so just as a little bit of homework there, what I'd like you to do is just make some sounds just using the envelope and a few different wave shapes. And even just take the envelope and stick it on the filter and just have a play around with it and just see what sounds you come up with.